The book by Tony Buzan, B-U-Z-A-N is his surname. You might think, you know, what Sheikh is now quoting a non-Muslim book? Allahu Akbar. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, he said, Kalima Hikmah. He said, words of wisdom, Dalatu Mu'min. They are the lost property of a believer. Ya'khuduha min haythu yajiduha. Wherever the believer finds it, he takes it from there. So if you find any non-Muslim with a good theory, it wasn't his, it was yours. It wasn't his, it was yours. You're a, you're a mu'min. You take all the best that is in the world. It's yours because you believe in Allah. You believe in the one who created that, who gave that man that idea. I'm not saying plagiarism, okay? I'm not saying, you know. <laughs> Guys, please don't go to say, Imam said, you know, Kalima Hikma Dal. It was my lost property. I found. <laughs> I found it in the bin and I basically, you know, they, all those guys threw it in the bin, I took it out and I basically just wrote it, I mean, you know, I copied it, but you know, it's my property, all yeah? well, this is mine, I'm Muslim, yeah. But anyway, what, what you do is, get that book, Tony Buzan's book, you will, you will read that book and in there what you will find is that he will say that you have to put bite-size, bite-size memory, right, memorization throughout every day, every week, every month, from the beginning of your studying all the way till the end. Guys, you don't know the power of this, because this is actually, honestly, this is Islamic. You know when you do hifz of the Qur'an, how do you do hifz of the Qur'an? You don't sit there one day and say, I'm going to take the whole of Alif Lamim inside. You don't do that. You start, you say, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ and then, and, then, and then you try and move the, you look at it, you look back into it, look at it again, and then you do the next bit, bite size, bite size. You give yourself breaks. Then what happens is, you, any person who's memorized any surah would know this. You memorize it today, tell me guys, this is true or not. By tomorrow morning, if you memorize a page of the Quran, something brand new, or half a page of the Quran, by tomorrow morning, you've forgotten quite a bit of it. Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? Come on. Yes. yes. See, this is normal. Don't you know? This is normal human being that the memory power has got two different modes. This Tony Buzan's book is. Uh, he's got many books. Okay, go go for the one which is "Use Your Head." The title of the book is "Use Your Head." So in that, he'll explain to you about the memory itself. Okay, if he doesn't explain that, he'll explain it in "Use Your Memory." He's got a second book called "Use Your Memory." But don't you know? Just buy from Amazon. Okay. You know, and, and just, just read or borrow it with each other. Don't, don't go around spending so much money in, in um, you know, buying, the, buy, buy, buying all these uh, uh, expensive books. Just, just find it second hand, whatever, just use the information. But use your head should be enough. That was enough for me. So what you do, what you realize is that the memory, if, if today you've memorized something, you would have known it like 100%. By tomorrow morning, it will drop down to 25%. Or 30%, which means 25-30% now has possibly gone to your long-term memory, is going towards your long-term memory, and the 100%, the, the other 75% you had yesterday was in your short-term memory. So you've got to take it from your sh short-term memory to your long-term memory. Same as you know what the CD-ROM, CD-RAM, the whole computer, how it works. Yeah, same the human mind, mind works like that. So what you're going to do? You do hifz of it again. You go over again, you say So you go over again. Then now you increase the rate of your long-term memory with that passage. The next day you'll find that it will be up to 45% or 50% or 60%. Next day you'll find it will up to 70%, 90% and 100%. Each time you take 100, it drops down. 100, it drops down. But the drop will get higher and higher and higher. So basically you, you start off with 25% then you gradually get to 100%. Finally, you don't have to read that passage every single day. What you will do is after a week, after a week, you come back to it, you still will know it. But if you leave it for one month, you would have forgotten. If you leave it for two weeks, you'll forget it. So what you do is you make yourself small bite-sized revisions that you go over and over again and again with key information you need to remember. Now what I'm saying to you guys is, if you've got studying maths, if you're studying economics, what you do is, from the beginning of the year, every subject that you do, take the keys, key parts out. You can make mind maps, which he talks about, but you don't have to. You can do it all inside here. When I was studying uh, my final year, I had to devise a way of re remembering all the fiqh, fiqh ikhtilafat. I had to remember in wudu, what did Imam... Uh, Abu, uh, what did Imam Abu Hanifa say? What did Imam Malik say? What did Imam Shafi say? What did Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal say? And what was in Sahih al-Bukhari or Sahih Muslim or this and that? So it was a mammoth task. So I devised the thing in my head. This was my personal one. 
I'm, I gave a figure of what I thought was Imam Abu Hanifa in my head and I made all of them come to this little pond on four different corners. All the four Imams. Imam Abu Hanifa was dressed in green, Imam Malik dressed in red, Imam uh, um, Ahmad ibn Hanbal dressed in grey, Imam Shafi dressed in cream. So basically they've all got different colors so I can identify them, differentiate. And then they're having now, I create a whole story in my head where Imam Abu Hanifa will say, you know, this is far, then the other one will say, no, no, this is, this is not far, then this one will say, okay, this Bismillah, you say, yeah, this is Sunnah, and, that, that. And, and it's all going on, I'm making a little video in my head. But once I've made it, I will play that again and again.